All right, welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Commander Iron Man modded campaign. And back here, I'm gonna guide you through this mission as well. Uh, if I remember correctly, we were supposed to capture a VIP that we'll find over here and then just move forward. And since we are not counting with a Reaper, uh, we brought a ninja. And what I mean by this is just a regular free expansion ranger that has conceal so he can still in concealment and scout for us while everyone else reveals themselves. Uh, taking the high ground here would be a very good idea. I'm just taking a look at which would be the best way to do so and I believe moving forward like this and then taking to the side is the best. Running. So I will ask everyone peacefully move over here try not to trigger the any alarms break any windows that would be bad. We spot no one on the first turn, which is a bit of a shame because the faster we go in missions like this, the easier of a time we get when we have to engage multiple groups. But we will have to do with what we got. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep the to Templar close to the ground. The main reason for this is because Remember, we're here to the his melee attacks off. are what really matters, not anything there. else. So. I think I will take one extra turn before I engage and in this turn I plan to send everyone up here. It's everyone that is going to engage. Uh, I cannot tab, which already is very bad. I should have considered this option. So now we are in a bit of trouble. I am happy though that uh, this was not the guy that has the mimic beacon. That would have been even worse. So we may have to go full engage at this very precise moment. And we will do so. Uh, hopefully leaving just just few enough that the Mimic Beacon takes, uh, takes care of them. Or at least tracks their interest. Uh, considering some options, uh, I believe I will reveal the, the Ranger. So we'll have to see. Does he have concealed? Yes. So we can later return to concealment. However, the fact that we already see two groups of engagements means that we are, we will be through with most of the mission. If I were to move here, I seem to lose sight of a lot of enemies. If I were to move here, I will be out of cover. But I think that's perfectly fine because we plan to kill most of them. If not all. I don't think we can kill all because I see a spectre already. But everyone else can suffer greatly from us. What do we have that we would love to do? We could even consider killing the Spectre. I believe with a with a whiplash start, uh, we could get very very far. Let's see if we hit. And the Spectre, of course, is important to kill because he absolutely ignores mimic beacons. So there's always a good reason to kill it. It is quite a shame. Oh, did we just miss a 92%? Is this is this what's gonna happen, game? Okay. Now I have to readjust again. Okay, so we cannot count on any type of luck helping us, and that's why we are gonna start deploying things. Uh, first of all, maybe maybe there's still something to do. That is not good. Uh, I could also take a shot with this. Leaving the priest up. So the things I want to do is to kill the vipers. Uh, and let the shield bearer do the shield thing. Let the guardian, I don't know what he does. So he will do his thing. And hopefully if I get the, the Vipers killed, then uh, the Mimic Beacon can draw most of the attention of everyone. So let's see, what do we have here? That is a 75% chance to kill, and I will take it. A nice shot. We got a hair trigger, which makes me very, very happy. We needed any type of help we could get. 
So my options now are take a regular shot, which does not look really good, or maybe chuck a grenade, which looks a lot more decent. Uh, this car we can possibly destroy, however I'm not too sure about that, so we will see when we decide to destroy it. Mm. We could only use Reaper if we bomb this guy and then we could run over to the priest, but if we do that then this guy will not have uh, parry, which is like a single charge of Mimic Beacon, and we totally want to have that. So let's see. This is a 50% chance to be a kill. That sounds very interesting. What else is there? I guess I could also pull someone like the priest. Oh, we, we also have the armor ignore so that we could pull this. But the only 100% I have is this, has a 50% chance to be a kill, so I'm gonna take this shot. We do not get the kill because we are never lucky. Uh, I'm considering if there is any path from which I can go ahead and hit the Spectre. But apparently there is not. So what I'm gonna do is... Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, where could a grenade help change my decision? We have one, two, three life answers. We could also go here and take a shot at the Viper. Maybe we just get the kill like that and we don't need to do anything extra. However, you know what? We're gonna... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop a grenade here. Bombs away. Uh, we're gonna get just a regular hit with the... with the Templar. Uh, two reasons. One, uh, I don't want to activate Reaper, especially because I would only get one more hit in. And two, I absolutely want to activate Parry. And I hope that between Parry and the Mimic Beacon, I get enough uh, distraction going on. Distraction. Correct. So I'll place the Mimic Beacon over here. And with the last move, since the Spectre survived with only one hit, uh, I want to move upstairs, put him inside. Good. and use uh, combat protocol. Sad that we had to use so many resources to kill the Spectre. But I guess between the beacon and everything else we will be perfectly fine. So, first shot, it's a 5. That's very good, because it means they may need both shots to get this kill. Exactly. It's a 6. That means the last guy will also have to move like a silly person and he does not even shot, shoot. Surprise, surprise, the ruler is here again. My god. Okay, this makes things uh, even worse, as if they could go even worse. So what do we want to do? Okay, I have no idea how to engage this ruler at the moment. Um, I'm thinking... Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I hope that if I move over here, uh, first we'll hurt the ruler, second we will trigger no one new. Uh, if, if we trigger more pots, it will become horrible. Uh, and third, uh, we should be able to take some good shots at the ruler. However, I already see... Wait, who can see the ruler right now? Okay, this person can see the ruler. So the question is... Uh, can you see the ruler? Nope. Can you see the ruler? Yes, you can. So how could we go around taking the ruler out. I already see fire forming here, which means I should probably move. And since I should probably move, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move over here, 
I'm gonna hope that the ruler activates because of this. He does not. That is a shame. I was really counting on that. In that case, uh, one, two, three, four. It's, I'm not seeing someone else. Okay, so seeing the ruler is a tricky. Wow, it's a literally a one tile distance. Okay, so I could move over here and see the ruler. I move over here and see it. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna move here. Give the ruler one turn because I really, oh, really hope uh, she moves in. That would be the best for me. If she does not, excellent, excellent. That is exactly what we wanted. So now we are able to uh, lay down some fire. It could be either in the form of this double shot here, which I really like because of follow targeting. You know what? Let's take it. Uh, I could have also considered grenades. That's a miss. Now it's a 60%. That is a hit. I'll take it. But we'll really rule it all. That's another movement that is perfectly fine. Because it lets me use this grenade over here. Uh, which was not perfect, but is much better now. We have multiple units ready to respond to whatever the ruler wants to do. So we'll keep that in mind. The ruler freezes two of our units, which is pretty pretty bad, because uh, one of them still has actions. Uh, not only that, they also now have... Uh, they're also now out of cover, which means they'll probably get hit. So let's see. Uh, I would do 6 to 7. Is there any way to get a kill with 6 to 7? The answer is not really. Hmm, hmm, things are looking grim. I wish this was a uh, higher ranger, however, that is not the case. But we will have to uh, be careful on who do we want to hit. I'm gonna start hitting the Viper King. Mm, do I really? So what I'm thinking... Okay, no, no, no. I really have to take care of this. Uh, even if other units get hits, gets, get hits in, uh, this is way more important. She is absolutely capable of destroying me. Burning is an amazing mod that will let me deal extra damage to it. Deflection from last turn is up, which makes me really, really happy. Uh, so I'm thinking what I'm thinking right now is uh, if I chuck a grenade over here I'll be able to deal a little bit of damage to the ruler so let's see how much health is this? 9 if I drop the grenade this guy does 6 to 7 so I will be able to get a kill uh, unless of course the ruler decides to strike again at this unit that would be unlikely, uh, unlucky. Uh, I could also check the hack. Okay, let's, let's innocently check the hack while the fight is absolutely going on. So what I'm thinking is, I hit the ruler, I start Reaper. That is, that is interesting. Uh, I start Reaper, I kill the ruler, I kill this guy, I try to shoot with someone else. I don't think anyone else is available though. Uh, and then I hit someone else. Uh, and then maybe run away after that. And that should be pretty good. I'm not saying that it's the best tactic ever. But it will get some kills. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping she tries to escape. That really looks like the escape attempt. Which is great. Uh, as far as I know just activating reaper is not supposed to give the ruler an action so we're gonna go for it Excellent. Uh, this is five do we do this in any other order no absolutely not so this is five let's try to get the kill 100 percent chance actually no chance to miss we get the kill beautiful we get extra points uh, we now have two focus, so there are a few things to consider. Okay, this would hit these two, six to nine, and then 
but still not enough. I think Reaper is even better. Um, and then I have a tiny conundrum. I could go here for the 6 to 7. If we hit the 7, we get the kill, and then we get to kill an extra guy for free. But if we don't, then there's two enemies alive, which is uh, obviously not ideal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the 100% kill over here. Also loot. Two loot boxes, that's nice. And then finally, uh, we're gonna go 5 to 6 over here for many reasons, but the most important one will be in a little bit of cover. I'm much more afraid for the guys that are above. But what can you do? Actually, there's nothing. Here. We find a mind control. This is not good. We get mind control. Okay. Shield bearer does shield bearer thing. And let's hope the viper doesn't do something crazy. Deflection. That is amazing. We were looking forward for this. Okay, so that was double deflection from having two focus. So I feel really, really good about this now. Okay, so what does the priest get? So that's seven to eight if we were to attack like this. And they have eight. So that's already not good. Already not good. Uh, our frozen units remain frozen because the game hates us and there's nothing we can do. So what are my options? I could go here, flank the Guardian, who is the shield bearer equivalent also, apparently, and take a shot. The shot... Wait, if that's not a kill... Yeah, we still have options. Okay, so let's do exactly that. We move over here. It's a flank. It's a flank. We move over here. go for the 50% chance to kill. We get the kill. This should turn off the shields of everyone, which is something that we wanted, because uh, it lets me go only melee with this guy. Uh, let's stay inside. Okay, so they get a sustain. I believe we are perfectly fine with this. And what we want to do now is take care of this viper. So how are we going to do this? No grenades over here. So we move here. And uh, let's see how far we can destroy this car. How much we can damage this car. Only three and sparks. That's not quite enough. Uh, I am... Okay. That is a little bit of a shame. I was really hoping for either 4 damage or a car explosion. But we still don't have the... <laughs> the plasma grenades. That would have helped. We take a 60% shot. It's the kill we needed. This gives us a little bit of time. We use the parry. The priest revives. He gets to run. And he gets to shoot. No, stasis. Okay. Stasis is fine, we can deal with that. The alien turn seems to have been exactly that. Uh, which means we'll probably not find any other enemy. So what we're gonna do is uh, try to see if a punch is enough. Looks good. We go for the punch. Bye bye. Uh, and now we want to finish the mission. Before we do so, though, we conceal. Mm, we already see that's not good, because now we are surrounded. But let's see what the hack says again. I believe 92%. What's the bad thing if we fail? Enemy groups alerted to our position, not a problem.
We hacked the tower. Now uh, our unit is uh, able to move around it without being detected. Headed there now. Which means we can really scout. And scout I will. Move over here, try to see if we discover any other pod. Doesn't seem to be the case. So we can now freely move everyone up. Don't need to ask twice. Get ready to finish the mission. Soon. The turn again seemed to last nothing, which means we are free to do this. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Take the unit. Start moving out. Explore more, just in case. Maybe even drop down. Maybe they're inside some type of line of sight problems. Oh. Location confirmed. Seems like we are safe. Got it covered. A good decision. Transport inbound on your current position. Okay. Apparently there are reinforcements, which is kinda good for me because I'm okay getting extra shots, extra damage in or whatnot. I must run. We're gonna move the VIP away though because still things could happen. I'm gonna keep the last shot up because it has the extra aim from the special weapon. Uh, but everyone else is gonna move closer sure and then thing. overwatch. Scanning. I am watching. The VIP is, the VIP is out. Means mission complete. Advent drops with a purifier. That's why we never put the guys on the front again. Let's see if the purifier enables us to get a full kill by exploding them, breaking the ground, and also. Uh, making them fall down, that will be fun. We will see. We will see. Overwatch, two hits. Everything looks pretty. That's a miss. So somehow we got Guardian, but Guardian did nothing, I guess. That, that is fine. Um, do we have a grenade with someone? Yes, we do. We could also just use a grenadier grenade, that is perfectly fine. Uh, the idea is to explode the purifier, make him fall down to the ground, and that will kill him because of falling damage. I want to put this grenade as far away from me as possible. really don't feel like taking some insanely bad luck based bounce on the grenade, which in turn drops us down to the ground. That would be very bad. I've never seen a purifier explode from falling damage, so maybe that actually cannot happen. What can happen, however, is that we move these people next to them. This, uh, this support has Shredder, which is insanely good for me. Unless we miss a 90% which is at this point the third one in this on mission alone, I don't know. Uh, we could go for Reaper, we could go for uh, Vault, it would hit both. We could also go for this melee strike, 86%, I don't like it but we can take it. Okay, now Vault looks really good. Perhaps the best time anyone has used this ability uh, since it's almost never used. And we are absolutely ready to leave. I also hope this fire that came out of nowhere doesn't end up being uh, destructive to us. Uh, some people died over there, that is absolutely not my fault. 
So I hope the fake news don't spin the in our uh, against us. Mission is over with four turns to go. Flawless also. So I guess we did a good job, even though we met everything. Also, we got the the Piper King, which is really really good. Because the Serpent armor is amazing. Mission complete. Some promotions going around. Mm, amazing. Is this right? This is the person with everything. Okay, so we're gonna take Guardian uh, because uh, it interacts with threat assessment perfectly. Uh, I didn't know we had such a high level specialist. Interesting. This guy also advance, reflect, very interesting. Deep focus, way more interesting. Fortress, amazing. Uh, these three abilities are super good, so I'm gonna try to take them. I cannot take them all. I will prioritize uh, Fortress. Deep focus. And that was really good. Two lot boxes. The Viper King. And uh, I believe Intel. It is my hope and supplies. that by following That's amazing. her own research notes, I will gain an even greater understanding of just Finishing how mutant she managed autopsy to though, much more important. Rapid changes. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have We were trying to get this to double agent bonus. Uh, that would be a really good thing to get. Work. That's exactly what we will do. Sadly, I was hurt. This should not matter much because we got the, the mission open. Weapon of uh, all weapon modifications increased. Uh, that may be exactly the best thing we could ever find. New engineer, not look too bad. With the resistance factions has motivated them to share some okay. new information on the chosen. Uh, after all those uh, speeches, we are going to take a new engineer because I feel we are a little low on them. Uh, even though we are at the end of the base, we still don't have enough personnel to distribute them. Uh, we still haven't done this one either. So. Let's see if we discover the last chosen. Doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, which means we don't get to open the third faction. That is not good. I was really looking forward for that. So the question is where do we go now? The supplies, intel, or alloys and lithium crystal. I believe at this point the alloys and the lyrium crystals are way more important than the rest. So we are going to focus our efforts there. I want to see this research finish. Researches. And sadly, uh, all the bonuses we get from opening this resistance comes will be eaten as soon as we disable the order that we were using. Our research was a success, Commander. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat team. Interesting. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring okay, down Okay, so... Plus one health to certain armor types. I guess we could go for this. This would be two days. And... I will okay, we will go for it uh, because uh, in this playthrough we want to see how many new things we can find. Our timers are so low that we are able to explore a lot more of the game. Two screen protocol, amazing. Bojack, ignore. Plasma grenade, amazing. 
send word when the project is complete. Apparently we have instant ammo. Um, I can spend one or two rounds. One more. Excellent. The dragon rounds are really good. However, we need to remember that some of our weapons already have dragon rounds. So we will see who we give them to. I believe this is what could be described as a good month, where absolutely nothing went for the aliens and we did all of these things. Uh, I would call this a uh, success. Ignore the chosen. Hello, this is fine. If you got something new for us, Commander, my reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. Okay. So the skirmishers can take a new order. This is insane. What is there for us? Mobility, contacts with new regions. Speed of all weapon research. We're gonna take this because I kinda see us researching some new things. And that looks good. We'll do as we're told. We want to finish this rumor though. Our mage is becoming stronger and stronger. Uh, Solas, Solas is just incredible for when we're fighting more advanced units. And we find a supply raid uh, full of automated defenses, which is very, very for good for us because we just, just finished develop developing Blue Screen Protocol. So let's see what kind of powerful team can we set up. Uh, we can take the same ranger. I am tired. Oh, Kika gets to return. Kika is also tired. Everyone tired? Okay, so let's see who we can bring. I believe Kika will be indicated because we have his partner here. We absolutely... Wow, he's still tired. He's not, not resting from this. I really wanted to bring him. It's a shame. But what about the skirmisher? Also tired. That is terrible. Reaper also tired. Hmm, this is very interesting. Everyone's pretty tired. I guess bringing a second specialist makes perfect sense here. Uh, we also want to bring a good sharpshooter. But two of them are tired. I believe we can take this third guy. Uh, and we will have to make use of the ninja again. Uh, even if he's tired, this is fine. We believe by the time this is too late, uh, the so sorry. By the time this guy gets tired, the what am I thinking? Yes, the reaper will have rested enough. Let's build some items. Blue screen, twice. Twice is fine, right? Yes. So we get two blue screen protocols, and I believe the best use of it is our insanely good uh, shooter over there. We can give Aki some uh, medkits. Uh, the sharpshooter is currently equipped with nothing because we need to make everything available. The Raven, the Raven has a Dragon Magazine, also plus one clip size, so that is pretty good already. Mm, we don't want to... actually I... Does this say replace? Yes, replace an existing ammo. So no point in giving that to them. That is not the case for this unit though, who is completely able to use the screen together with the Rapier. And a better launcher. I feel like I forgot to start the... the plas no, 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 I started the plasma grenade, it just didn't finish on time. Okay, we have some changes to do here. Where's the... Here it is. So the ninja doesn't need this anymore, but he can totally use the mimic beacon. Uh, this also has a dragon magazine, so that's why we want to keep it. 
I'm paying attention to see if the uh, Grammy's loot mod are increased by the order, but I really don't see any any major change uh, or any change in the numbers. Yep, this really looks the default. Oh, what was before the order changed? Even the auto loader seems to have not been increased. But uh, what was the advanced hair trigger that increased? So I guess we're good. And as always, I'm gonna cut the stream for five seconds so that I get a separate video. Those you can find in YouTube later. See you soon.